Let's talk about the difference between a max versus an effective root zone. So when we talk about a max root zone, we're talking about the distance the total root zone extends below the soil surface. An effective root zone is a portion of the max root zone where most of the water and nutrient uptake occurs. And these two can be very different. So let's take a pistachio tree crop, for example. They can have a max root system that stretches well beyond 10 feet below the soil surface. However, their effective rooting zone, where about 70% of all of its water and nutrient uptake is going to occur, is actually within the first three feet of the soil surface. This is common in a lot of crops, and the main reason to understand all of this is that when you go to apply water and nutrients, make sure that you really are just trying to aim to get that top portion of the root zone. Once water and nutrients start to drain out of there, the efficiency of uptake is drastically reduced. In fact, Usually about the last 25% of the root zone only accounts for 10% of total water and nutrient uptake. Thank you very much.